not only champion, but incredibly dominant. So on the very first ever episode of Dynamite, on October 2nd, we had Chris Jericho standing tall in the ring alongside Sammy Cavera, um, the recently debuted Santana and Ortiz, and the incredibly over at that very moment and debuting Jake Hagar, or Jake Hagar, however they want to actually pronounce that. On October 9th, 2019, Chris Jericho introduced his new faction. So that's where he actually named him as the Inner Circle, where he put on one of the greatest promos of the entire year, where he put over Sammy Guevara as being some sort of sexy Spanish god who's incredibly talented for being his age. He put over Santana and Ortiz as being like crazy pit bull fighters, back alley brawlers, and that, you know, he has them in his corner because they, you know, they show respect and that they're incredibly talented and that, you know, Jake Hagar, as he calls him, or Jake Hagar, however they're going to end up calling him uh jake hager jake hager i'm gonna get this confused until i officially know what they're gonna be calling him um talking about how you know he's like a legitimate fighter how he's one of the most dominant wrestlers in mma today and when the chant or the crowd was trying to chant him out with the we the people chants chris jericho shut it down as being a dumb and stupid gimmick and that it's dead and buried and it was it went a really long way and it was one of the greatest promos of the entire year and in my opinion it was one of the greatest promos um of the last little while. Uh, so um, with that, uh, they picked fights, of course, right now, showing their dominance with members of the elite, you know, including, you know, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page, the natural Dustin Rhodes, the American Nightmare Cody. All these different people have been inside the path of the, uh, uh, the fury of the inner circle. And now we can also add Darby Allen to that mix as well. Um, so on November 9th, uh, Cody, uh, face is going to be facing Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship at, uh, full gear. Uh, and that's going to be absolutely insane. Now, these matches that they're building for full gear, I, j I can't wait for them. The Young Bucks versus, um, Santana and Ortiz. We have Cody versus Chris Jericho. We have John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Oh, man. Oh, I can't even imagine some of the other matches that they're going to be announcing for this. They're doing an incredibly good job uh, building Dynamite. But the storyline essentially has been that AEW couldn't be possible without Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho feeling disrespected. And because he feels disrespected and that he isn't in charge, he's going to be taking over the show by creating his own faction and just being dominant in that regard. Taking Sammy Guevara, which brings for him an incredible high flyer, somebody with a lot of energy, an incredibly natural young guy, an incredible talent. And if you pay attention to um, his YouTube channel, he's got his own vlog where he ever does uh, videos. And I can officially say now I'm a member of the Pand Fam uh, because I really dig his videos and I now watch them regularly. Um, with Santana and Ortiz, uh, you know, being legitimate badass um, tag team wrestlers, obviously the formerly known as LAX, and then Jake Hagar, you know, normally formerly known as Jack Swagger in the WWE, a former heavyweight champion in himself, and undefeated in Bellator MMA. So serious legitimacy under him, and he, now he has this entire faction which he's using to remain champion, obviously, without... Uh, Jake Hagar, he wouldn't have been able to stop Darby Allen from hitting that coffin drop with his hands behind his back. Who knows if that could have been enough to actually take out Jericho, but Darby Allen was kicking ass with hands tied behind his back for about three minutes and doing things that somebody with his hands tied behind his back shouldn't have been able to do. So it's paying off already. The inner circle is already working for Chris Jericho, giving it a bit of a dusty finish, but hey, it makes Darby Allen look hella strong. Absolutely. Anyways, so these are my three different uh, storylines that are going on in wrestling right now that I really enjoy. So we have The Fiend and the Firefly Funhouse. We have Bray Wyatt's return from obviously uh, losing everything, having the fire or the uh, Wyatt compound burned down, losing his brethren inside of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, and all the different members of people who have been inside of the Wyatt family. But obviously those last three, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, and uh, Bray Wyatt, they were the closest at the very end as Luke Harper was obviously Bray Wyatt's like number one guy until Randy Orton came along. Anyways, the Firefly Funhouse and um, The Fiend have been one of the most interesting and original things happening in wrestling um, in what I could say an incredibly long time. Integrating a children's, a happy children's TV show into a dark evil like House of a Thousand Corpses Rob Zombie clown murderer guy who is apparently unstoppable god wrestling man i it's just it's been really cool and i really hope this whole new 
Fox uh, not being high on the Firefly Funhouse, and that's the reason for it burning down and this whole weirdness going on with Seth Rollins. I really hope it doesn't bury uh, The Fiend. I'm kind of scared that it is a little bit, but we'll see and we'll stay optimistic and we'll hope that Bray Wyatt can salvage uh, what's been going on with The Fiend as of late because the man is a genius. Second, we have the Undisputed Era fulfilling the prophecy of collecting all the gold in 2019, which they currently do. Adam Cole holding that NXT championship. Uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly holding that NXT Tag Team Championship. And Roderick Strong holding that North American Championship with NXT. Adam Cole said it earlier this year. He said everybody would have gold. They would be draped in gold. And all four members currently are probably making them the strongest faction in all of wrestling today as every single member has a championship and yes there is incredibly strong factions out there today with people like chaos with kazichi okada leading the helm as the iwgp um head world's heavyweight champion uh like obviously that is an incredible faction in itself but not every member obviously of chaos has a title so you could say well hey that that really does put in contention um the undisputed era and i think you would have a hard time arguing that honestly imperium is really strong obviously walter holding that nxt north or nxt uk championship that's also really good but i think honestly or the oc because you have the um u.s championship with uh AJ Styles and the club is obviously really strong, though they're not really booked at these days. But anyways, we have the Undisputed Era fulfilling the prophecy is my second favorite storyline currently going on in wrestling. And also the inner circle, the formation of AEW with Chris Jericho um, demanding a thank you from AEW, uh, the elite and Tony Khan um, to eventually just basically taking over Dynamite by creating his own faction using members of Sammy Guevara himself, obviously Jake Hagar and Santana and Ortiz, who you can also say is probably one of the strongest factions inside of wrestling these days as well, because they're booked strong. And obviously Chris Jericho is the AEW world champion right now. So anyways, all that aside, those are my three favorite storylines in wrestling right now. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment below or tell a friend. Check me out on social media. On Twitter, I'm at WrestleSode or on Facebook.com forward slash WrestleSode. Um, we're on Instagram at WrestleSode. And I'm going to be forming a YouTube channel as well. At uh, I don't have the, the official link for the YouTube channel yet, but search WrestleSode as well, guys. I'm going to be starting streaming here pretty soon as well. I'm getting assets built, and I'm going to be doing some cool stuff over on Twitch. I actually have a partner Twitch stream. So right now, it's not WrestleSode. It's twitch.tv forward slash nostalgia, T-A-L-E-X. T -A -L -E -X. Um, go and take a look for me on Twitch. And like I said, guys, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening on this channel, and I hope you're all going to be with me for this ride. Remember to leave a five-star rating and review if you want to see this channel continue to grow and get more popular and have more stuff uh, available for all of you to enjoy more episodes and more focus. But with that, everybody, I hope you have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time. Uh, 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 uh.